In this episode, you will discover what big mistake we did in our content creation process and what you should avoid immediately if you don't want to flush your time down to the toilet. If I could give advice to my younger self, it would be focus on what matters. That's boring. Okay, but important. Prove that. Okay, Anthony, I'll give you a quick example. Can you sound a bit less Russian, please? Well, I try my best. That's not enough. <sighs> you deserve the mute. Back to the example. A few years back, when I was a marketing director, our team was producing a wonderful videos. Several of them went viral in a really tiny market. It was great from a branding standpoint. It brought us views, followers, comments, shares, and stuff like that. You mean vanity metrics? Man, you are glitching again. I have no idea how you unmuted yourself, but you are basically right. But that's a topic for another day. Anyway, the problem with those videos was that it was really time-consuming. It took hours and a team of production people to process just one or two of those videos. We ended up in a loop of create, create, create. We were chasing after likes and followers and that's not what puts the food on the table. What I believe in today is to document, create and repurpose. That's the right way to go. Let's get started with what document means at first. You mean documentaries like on the National Geographic? No, not that kind of documents, but documenting your journey instead. Do what you do and record it, for example. That's a lot of free content. But no one's going to watch that. Well, that can be true in the beginning, but every interaction matters. You'll get better over time, just don't overestimate what others are saying about your content and don't underestimate how are you feeling about it. Make your content useful, make it maybe funny, make that process enjoyable for you so you can persist for long term. I'm definitely not creating or documenting content every single day. I am doing it when I feel the flow for it. And I also created Anthony as a funny addition to this content. So I'm having fun when I'm preparing materials for these videos. And that's what matters to me. Wait, you created what? It is how it is, buddy. It will serve me and others no matter what. Okay, I'm going to prepare some glitchity glitches for you. Content fries, Dale, sound the alarm! Now to the create. Documenting is creating. But if you want to get further than that and you think it will benefit others, you can definitely start creating your content. The viral videos I mentioned were created basically in four steps. The first step was that our copywriter prepared some scripts for us. She is very talented in this and she was able to put some strong emotions into those scripts and they were just reviewed by some other team members afterward and modified if needed. Second step was that a recording day was scheduled and we recorded as many videos as we were able to record. The third step was that our team member post-produced those videos. He added some background music, he made cuts, he added some short clips from a stock media library and st stuff like that. After this was finished, basically the fourth step was to repurpose those videos. We added captions, headlines, so those videos were, were repurposed for different platforms and they were scheduled to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and maybe some other platforms. I like writing, so what I'm doing is that I'm uh, preparing these videos kind of like a blog post. I'm not feeling very confident about my English yet, so this is helping me tremendously to create these videos more engaging and not only I create something that I think is useful but as a side effect I'm also improving my English a lot. In my native language I would think about what my viewers want to see and I would write down some bullet points. What I love is the process that Marley Jacks mentioned on Funnel Hacking Live. If you don't know her just follow her immediately, she's amazing. And she also has very cool processes about how to create a lot of high quality content strategically. 
No matter what process you are going to use in order to create or prepare your content, what's important is to prepare your content in advance and then record as many videos during your recording days as possible. Let's go to repurposing. All right, this is where the magic is happening. You don't have to create your content every single time from scratch. You can repurpose what you already have. This is what the Gary V content model or Peng Jun's content multiplier formula is about. Just take the videos you recorded earlier, no matter that's a webinar, interview, some review or anything like that and repurpose it into shorter bits. Take transcriptions of those content pieces and turn them into blog posts. Highlight some interesting ideas in your transcriptions and create quote cards. Repurpose your videos into stories. Chop them even more to create TikTok videos and on and on and on. This is where content fries can get really handy. We started with video repurposing and multiplying and we are constantly adding new features so you'll be able to do whatever you like with your content. This is something that would take you hours doing the old-fashioned way, but our goal is to help you do that in just a few minutes. This way you can be everywhere your dream customer is and you can spread your message as far and as wide as you want. If you are not a Content Fries user yet, create your free trial account on contentfries.com. You'll be surprised by how many content pieces you'll able to get with it per week. If you think this video can benefit others, give it a thumbs up, it can help a bit and don't forget to write your honest opinion on this video in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to your response and feedback. Have a wonderful day and see you soon.